All right, first up, let's talk about our game plan to get you 360 aware. Basically, being 360 aware is all about being aware of electrical assets above the ground, below the ground, and all around. Like parks, next to streets or up above. Easy as. So, to keep it simple, we've created a six step approach. Number one, seeking info. The first step is to seek information. It's just plain silly to jump into something without knowing all there is to know about it. That's why you should check out the Dial Before You Dig website for any extra info you need, and you're on your way. Number two, performing an on-site inspection. Next is getting someone who knows their stuff to come in and do an inspection. That way you know for sure you're all good to start work. Yep, planning ahead is key. Your on-site inspectors will find the existence, location, depth and alignment of electrical assets. Number three, consider not working near the network. The other thing to consider is whether you should even be working there. There are nicer places to work than next to live electricity. Number four, job risk assessment. If you do decide to go ahead, next thing to do is to perform a thorough job risk assessment and sort out your safe work method statement to manage any potential risk. No one likes a risky business, uh, unless it's the movie of course, classic 80s. Number five, locating assets. Now you've got to locate all the assets, but be sure to apply the safe methods here, as advised by the smart folk at Dial Before You Dig. Number six, outlining safe approach distances. In other words, how close can you get to the network without putting yourself or anyone else at risk? This is all outlined by OSHREG's section 3.64. Yeah, you know the one. State and federal legislation, industry standards, codes of practice and guidelines provide minimum requirements, but it really comes down to your choices. That means protecting yourself so you can stay safe for your family. Simple. Remember, at the heart of all this is a bunch of experienced people in government and in the industry who've seen every imaginable thing happen in and around the network. Stay safe, guys. Well, there you go. Just remember these simple steps before you start a job and you'll be fine. Seek information, do an on-site inspection, complete a job risk assessment, locate all assets and apply safe work distances to avoid injuries. For more safety game plans, head to our website.